the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, it is time to pray again. And the thought that came to mind all week long, hallelujah, is just loving our God, you know, magnifying him and worshiping him, honoring him, laying at his feet and saying, Lord, here I am. Do with me as you will. You know, it's something when you come to that point in your life huh, where you're willing, hallelujah, to give all to God. When you, you know, are willing to say, God, I trust you, hallelujah. I trust you above everything that I see, hallelujah. I trust you above everything that you know people trying to whisper in my ear i trust you above you know what the enemy is trying to say i trust you god i trust you god and i believe by faith if i lay my life down at your feet if i say here i am i believe that you can take my life and do with it god what you have created me for he is hallelujah the potter and we are the clay and they, he just waits for that moment for us to say mold me god he mold me into higher into what you want me to be bless his holy name and part of that he wants us to love him he said that we should love him with all of our heart soul mind and strength laying at the feet of the master hallelujah do you love him today hallelujah do you appreciate him for all that he has has done he has done great and marvelous things bless his holy name and so that's what the prayer focus is and i want you to know as we begin to focus in on his promises jesus declared that if we ask anything in his name he would do it he said if two of us agree he would do it he said if his word abides in us and we abide in him we can ask our lord for whatever we will so know today hallelujah that god loves you Hallelujah. And he wants the best for your life. So until we meet again, stay strong. Keep loving the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, I love you too. And keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Father, I praise you, I thank you, I bless you, I honor you. Lord, I give you the glory and the honor and all of the praise, Father. For truly, Lord, thine alone are worthy to be praised, Father. Thine alone are worthy to be exalted above all others. Great are you, God, and greatly to be praised. Great are you in the heavens, my Lord. Great are you on the earth. And great are you in your people today, Father. I love you today, Father, and I thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for your only begotten Son, Jesus, Father. Thank you for the cross on Calvary, the blood that was shed for the remission of our sins. Uh, thank you for the Holy Spirit, Father God, uh, that you have sent, God, our teacher, our helper, our guide, our comforter, God. Uh, hallelujah, Father God. Thank you for the angels that encamp around them uh, that love the Lord. Uh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah for your word, Lord. Uh, it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Uh, thank you for being our God. Uh, thank you for calling us out of darkness uh, into a marvelous light. Uh, thank you, Lord, for giving us, God, uh, what we need, God, uh, and not what we deserve, God. Uh, thank you for your mercy today, God. Uh, thank you for your grace today, God. Thank you for your steadfast love. Thank you, Lord, for creating this world. Thank you for giving us a second chance, God. Thank you for making us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, God, that we are no longer slaves, but we're sons and daughters of the Most High God. Thank you, God, that we can call on you, God, and you hunger and you shundo, and you will answer. Thank you, God, hallelujah, that we have a relationship with you, God. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah, God, for adopting us, Lord God, welcoming us into the family, God. Thank you, God, for making us joint heirs with Christ. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that we are ahead and not the tails, God. Thank you that we are above and not beneath, Father God. Thank
thank you, Father, that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Thank you, God, with you all things are possible. Thank you, Lord, for is there anything too hard for God. Thank you that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up the standard against him. Thank you because you said, Behold, I give you the authority to trample over serpents, over demons, and over all the power of the enemy. God, your word declares that nothing shall by any means hurt us. So I come against every devil, God, every evil spirit that is working against the church. And I bind them in honorable shundo. I bind them in the name of Hayari Oshiha. Honorable shunda. I bind them in the name of Jesus. The blood is against them, Lord. Let your will be done, my Lord. Your will and your will alone, Father. Your will be done here on earth, Father, as it is in heaven, Father. And your will, Father, for your people is that they prosper and be in good health, even as their souls prosper. So I pray, Father God, most for the inner man, God. Let your will will be done in their lives, God. Let the inner man be strengthened in the name of Jesus, that your people might be able to stand, Father God. Oh, let your people be in good health, Father God. Cover up from head to toe, God. Oh, God, I pray healing upon your people in the name of Jesus, Father God. And I pray, God, that your people, God, would be a prosperous people, Father God. Oh, Father God, I pray that you begin to give your people ideas, God. Oh, Father God, I pray you would give them strategies, God. In the name of Jesus, God, let there be no lack, God. Let there be no poverty, God. Oh, Father, there's no shortage in your kingdom, God. Oh, God, pour out your blessing on your people, God. Oh, God, those that have tithed, those that have brought their offering, God, open up the windows of Hamidio Shando. Open up the windows of heaven, God. Pour out such a blessing, God, that there would not be room enough to receive, God. Oh, Father, you declared that you would rebuke the devourer, so the devourer today is rebuked. In the name of Jesus, God, let your will be done. Oh, that the gospel might be spread, God, that those that have not come into the fold would be able, God, to hear the gospel, God. God, open up new channels, God. Open up new ways, new avenues. In the name of Jesus, give your people ideas, God. Give them wisdom, God. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, that ultimately you would be glorified. And on this night, Father, I pray for the man of God. God, I pray your will be done in their lives, Father God. Bless them tomorrow, Father, as they lead the services in in the mighty name of Jesus, God. And oh, God, how we pray, how, yeah, how we praise you, Father God. How we thank you, God, for all that you have done. How we magnify you and say there's no God like Jehovah. How we love you, God. We love you, God. We love you, God. We love you, God. Oh, we praise you, God. We're grateful, God, for all that you have done. Father, oh, hallelujah, receive the prayer, Father, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. You know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was 
was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God. channel. On this channel, you know, my desire is that the body would be edified. So whatever it takes, you know, if it's a prayer, if it's a word from God, whatever God gives me, I'm giving it to you. So welcome to my channel. I pray that you would be blessed.